Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. Once again I headed north of Auckland and found a patch of kelp and bombed it with burley and bullet tuna baits. The usual suspects arrived in the form of small kawai and snapper, but I had expectations of bigger fish with the new moon phase on the rise. Just in case the snapper didn't play ball, I rigged up a live mackerel for any lurking predators. My first legal snapper appeared, it was introduced to my icky stick and cooler bag just before a pot of dolphins burst onto the scene. They looked like they were purposely moving in a feeding pattern. I was thinking maybe I'd see a workup later in the day. Something like the look of my live bait when I hooked into a solid fish. Not a kingfish, possibly a good snapper, kawai, or maybe a John Dory. Sure enough, a fat John Dory had been cruising the kelp looking for a small fish to eat and had found my mackerel. It was really the perfect habitat to find a John Dory and going to the trouble of catching and rigging a live bait had paid off. John Dory don't swim fast, instead they camouflage themselves and sneak up on small fish, shooting up their large mouths at the last second. This view was probably the last thing my mackerel saw before it was swallowed. The tide was dropping so I headed to a rock stack for some land based fishing. I was going to set up another live bait rig and was hoping for an early season kingfish. The first mackerel died unfortunately so I turned it into a butterfly bait for a snapper. The moon phase was supposed to be red hot and it was, probably, if you only wanted to catch kawai. I was surprised the bigger snapper weren't present as all the good ducks seemed to be lining up. I made the call to pack up and try somewhere else. As I cruised off the rocks I saw gannets gathering near Motoora Island and went for a closer look. Unfortunately I'd left my soft baits and jigs at home but baited up and had a drift near the action. The dolphins were feeding but there wasn't really enough concentration of bait fish and predators to really produce a gathering of snapper feeding underneath. This was obviously the beginning of the workup season starting to get off the ground but spring workups were not in full swing yet. I left my drogue at home as well so I headed back down the coast. I found a couple more gannets diving and threw out a baited rig right where the action was. Again no snapper were hanging around so I was back to bait and burley. Small snapper were jumping on my baits but again nothing big. I wasn't too concerned I had one of my favourite eating fish in the sack. My wife has a killer recipe for John Dory involving fresh oyster, creamy sauce and leeks. John Dory have a delicate texture and flavour and the oyster sauce complements it perfectly. Click the link to see the whole recipe. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.